Five Cincinnati police say suspects in the latest street takeover were able to drive off before police could stop them. Thanks for joining us on this Monday night. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Otterley is live at that intersection of 2nd and Race Streets where those donuts happen. So Madeline, we just got that update this morning. Right, Tanya, police told us that a suspect was able to drive off from this area and actually cross state lines across the river over into Kentucky. All of this took place early Sunday morning, and here at this intersection, you can still see those burnout marks that have been left behind. Meanwhile, Cincinnati's police union president tells us that police would have been unable to chase that suspect due to department policy. <laughs> The latest in a string of street takeovers caught on camera downtown. Cincinnati police say officers tried to stop the driver, but they took off. There is all sorts of handicaps that the police have in this. Cincinnati's FOP president says one of them is the department's vehicle pursuit policy, which limits officers to vehicle chases only with suspects of violent felonies. They know that uh, um, they can go out there and act as, as, as ignorant and as dangerous as they they feel like to get their thrills and they know that the, the police aren't going to chase them. The department updated its policy last year after a deadly crash in 2020 that started as a police chase in Cincinnati. We are going to take the necessary steps to mitigate the risk involving around vehicle pursuits. The victims, Ray and Gail Leibel, hit by the suspect while sitting outside a cafe. We spoke to their daughter last year. For me personally, her days are I still don't get out of bed. Federal data shows there were more than 450 deadly crashes involving a police chase in 2020. That number higher than each of the five years before. There are days where I don't want to turn on the news because every single time I hear about a new chase, a new pursuit. A new study funded by the U.S. Department of Justice urges departments to cut down on risks from pursuits. One option, restrictive policies like CPDs. In this case, CPD says the suspect drove into Kentucky. Officers there tried to stop them too, but were unsuccessful. You have to identify a driver to have charges hold up in court. So even if you happen to get a plate, um, unless you get good interviews and stuff, and that's not necessarily going to happen. You know, we have been reaching out to Cincinnati police to try to find out what, if any, other tools they might be using to track suspects involved in this incident down. We've yet to receive an answer. For now, we're putting live downtown Madeline Adelaide, WCPO 9 News.